How's it going everyone? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about this portable power station made by Anchor. It's called the Powerhouse 2 300 and I've been using it lately for video shoots. If you're not familiar with Anchor, they're America's number one charging brand with over 65 million users globally. I actually bought my first Anchor products like four years ago and they were these little power banks with USB ports on them and I used them to charge my phone. These things have lasted forever and I pretty much have one on me at all times whenever I leave the house. So this guy's like a bigger, fancier version of those. Now these power stations are usually used by people who go camping or in an emergency situation like a power outage. But I also think this can be a beneficial piece of gear to have on video shoots. So I'm going to walk you through the features of this first and then I'll tell you how I've been using it lately as a filmmaker. The first thing that I noticed and really liked about the Powerhouse 300 was the build quality. On the top, they have a firm carrying handle, and then on the bottom, there are two rubber strips so that when it's on a surface, it doesn't move around as much. This thing just feels very solid and durable, like it'll last a really long time. On the front here, you have a display which shows your battery percentage, and then on this side, you have your amount of power that's going out, and underneath that, you have an estimated runtime of how much charge you have left inside of the battery. And this estimated runtime changes depending on how much power you have going out. So if you're running a light or something like that and it's using up a lot more power, it will reflect that and show you how much time you have left with the battery. Then down here in the middle, you have three 36 watt USB ports to charge tablets, your phone, stuff like that. And underneath that, there's one 60 watt USB-C port. And over here, you have a 65 watt DC in port. And that's where you would plug in and charge the powerhouse. Down here, you have one 12 volt car socket, which is a max of 120 watts. And then over on this side, you have one AC outlet, which is a max of 300 watts. On this side, you have a flashlight with three different settings. One that's brighter, and then a flashing setting. And then around here on the back side, there's an LED light, which is a warmer, softer light. And there's three different brightness settings to this. And I believe the intention of this is to be used more for like around a campfire since it's warmer, like you can see on my hand. And it's just supposed to be adding to the ambience of a campfire. So the main way I've been using the Powerhouse 300 is to keep my batteries topped off while I'm on a video shoot and I don't have a power source available. That's my camera batteries, drone batteries, gimbal, stuff like that. I also use it to keep my phone charged, a tablet if I need to, and a laptop. You're able to use the Powerhouse to charge a laptop three times at 60 watt hours, which comes in really handy if I wanna get some editing done throughout the day and don't have a power source to charge my laptop. And with the AC outlet, since it maxes out at 300 watts, I've been able to use it to power some of my video lights. Now, this is a pretty compact battery, so it's not gonna be powering my lights for all day or anything like that, but I have been able to use it for a few different scenarios. And one of those is powering this 55 watt work light that I have. It's actually pretty freaking bright and I use this on video shoots sometimes as an extra light. So I'm gonna plug this in and see how much runtime I can get out of the powerhouse. And then there you go, that's full power. As you can see, like I said, it is pretty bright. So it's outputting about 61 watts and will give me a little over five hours of runtime which is really impressive because this is a portable setup that you can take pretty much anywhere and get pretty bright light. So I have a more powerful light that I'm going to test out with this though. It's the Aperture 120D and I have that right here above my head which is helping to light this scene. So I'm going to plug that into the powerhouse and see how much runtime it'll give me with that. All right, so I have that light off right now and I'm going to turn it on. And this is set to 54% power. It's not even up to 100%. And at 54%, it's outputting 52 watts. And will last about six hours. Yeah, about six hours with this brightness. But let's crank it up and see how long it'll last uh, the higher that I go with it. Okay, now I have the intensity turned up to 90%, and as you can see, it's a lot brighter, and that's outputting about 124 watts of power, and will give me around two and a half hours of runtime. And that's two and a half hours of runtime with the light being on nonstop. If you turn it on and off, it'll give you even more runtime than that. 
And now I have the intensity set to 100% and the output is about 163 watts and the runtime is around 1.8 hours. So I'm gonna get less than two hours of runtime with the 100% intensity. And I thought that it didn't make much difference from 90% to 100%, so I just leave it down at 90%. I don't wanna go with full power because I feel like I lose an extra 30 minutes and I'm not getting that much more light. And I could go down even lower than the 90% and have it last even longer than that. So that's mainly what I use the powerhouse for to charge my batteries, power my laptop, or run my video lights if I need to. There is one more thing that I wanted to talk about with the powerhouse really quick, and that's how to charge this. And you can do that with the main charger that they give you, which plugs into the wall, and then the other end goes into the DC in port and you can charge it that way. They also give you a car charger, which would plug into the cigarette lighter, and you can charge it this way as well when you're driving to and from locations. And there's one more way that you can charge this, and that's with a solar panel. And Anchor was kind enough to send one over to me, and it's this guy right here, which is called the Anchor Power Solar 3 Port 100 Watt. It's a solar panel that you're able to use to keep the powerhouse charged while you're outside. This can also charge the other Anchor power stations, like the Powerhouse 2 400 and the Powerhouse 2 800. So the Power Solar has three different ports. One is a USB-A port, the other is a USB-C, and you can use these to charge small devices like tablets and smartphones. And then there's another port on here, which is what you use to charge the powerhouse. And you would do that by using the cable that they give you. So you would plug this in right here and then open up the power solar into direct sunlight because that's when it works best. And there's actually a gauge on here that helps you align that. It's called the Suncast, and when the blue dot is in the red circle, power solar will capture direct rays for a maximum charge. If it's a cloudy day or you're not in direct sunlight, you're not going to get the maximum power out of this and it's not going to charge as fast. So after you have that set up into direct sunlight, you would plug this part into the DC in and then you could start charging your powerhouse. When I had the power solar in direct sunlight, it said it was inputting about 60 watts of power into the powerhouse and it said it was going to take about six hours to get a full charge. So I think the solar panel is a cool option if you're going to be somewhere for multiple days and you don't have a power source and you wanna keep your powerhouse fully charged. Keep in mind that if it's cloudy or you don't have the solar panel in direct sunlight, that will affect the input of the watts going into the powerhouse. The Power Solar 3 port 100 watt will be available in late September. I'm not sure how much that will cost yet, but once I find out, I will leave a link down in the description with more information. So that's it for today's video. I just wanted to share this piece of gear with you guys because I've been using it lately and I thought it's been pretty helpful. So I'll leave a link down in the description below if you wanna check out this power station. I know lately I've been posting mainly After Effects and Premiere Pro tutorials, which I'm going to keep on doing, and my next video is a tutorial, but I also like posting these kinds of videos where I can share cool pieces of gear with you guys, because I want this to be a filmmaking channel, not just tutorials all the time. I do wanna share with you pieces of gear that can help you with audio, lighting, camera, stuff like that. So stay tuned for more videos like that coming up in the future. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.